hi guys welcome back to the channel so in my last video i showed you guys how to make the mini top that i'm wearing and most of you requested that i show you how to make the headdress that i was wearing so this is the video so these are the measurements that i used and there i was just basically trying to cut the shape of the headdress using those measurements that i just showed you And then I also used some interfacing, some really, really hard interfacing. If you don't have the hard interfacing, you can always use normal interfacing, but then you can double it or triple it to get the stiffness that you need. Then I just ironed it on and then I cut it out using the scissors. Then after that, I also cut an exact uh, same size piece of lining. That is the red fabric lining there. Then I went back to the other piece and then I started to fold and iron inside. I just started folding on the edge and ironing it inwards as you can see there. And I did this on all four edges. And then I took my fabric and then I placed it on top of the other piece and then I used the chalk to just draw so that I know where I'm going to fold and iron on the lining fabric so that when I put them together they will be a perfect fit. So I used the chalk markings to guide me when I iron. Then I also ironed on all edges the same way that I did for the other um, printed fabric piece. Then after that, I placed the two together they were the wrong sides facing inside and the right sides facing outside. And then I just used the little peg to hold the two pieces together in place. Then I now took out my needle and thread and you now use a brightly colored thread to just do a tucking stitch right round. So after tucking it looked something like that. This will really help you when you go to sew it on the sewing machine. Then I just went ahead and then I stitched it right round on the sewing machine. So there I was just removing that thread that I had used to tuck. So at this point we already have the shape that we want and then I just took a choke and then I started to mark where I was going to put the press studs. I'm using these press studs. There I was just sewing on the press studs. So after sewing, then you can now pin them together. And I also just added uh, these little decorative buttons. Yeah. 
and that was basically it so thank you so much for watching this video you guys and i hope that you have been inspired to go and create something beautiful for yourself thank you so much for sticking by and i hope to see you in the next video bye